Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is Raid Shadow Legends video. I am on my free to play today and I thought we'd talk a little bit about gearing, uh, farming gear and what we're looking for, that sort of thing. I was uh, had a coaching session the other day with somebody and that was a big issue. Uh, I saw right away in their account and it's like, oh, we got some gear issues going on here. And so I thought it'd be uh, fun, you know, without going too in depth, just talking a little bit about it, what I'm looking for on my account. Now I can definitely talk about this on my, on my main account, but I feel like it does hold some weight here when we're talking about the free to play. And considering that I'm starting to get ready for Hydra, I got a bunch of new champions. This is kind of a solid time to kind of go about talking about it. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one that comes out. And of course, if you enjoyed today's music, we have that link down below in the pinned comment and description of this video, and you can use code DEADWOODJEDI, save yourself 15%. And of course, if you want some account work, you don't like doing the work yourself, I'm more than happy to do it for you. My team is at the beck and call. Just visit my website, deadwoodjedi.com. Now, as far as the free to play goes, we are on day 103. Kind of, kind of getting along there with it, right? Um, haven't been doing quite as many updates as I had wanted to, but uh, honestly, I kind of find it hard a little find every topic to talk about here. Um, but what I did want to talk about, like I said, is some of the gearing. Now, very cool right now, and this is probably going to be over by the time this video comes out, which, you know, again, good timing. <laughs> um, but uh, we have a triple speed drop for dragon and i think this is one of the best events because speed is such a key part of this game and this is something that i talk about all the time speed is king it really is because every one of your champions needs speed or there's a few occasions right that advanced hydra levels where you don't really need a bunch of it but generally it's really helpful in in the early game especially it's so hard to get pieces with double triple speed rolls right a very rare kind of instance so what we're really looking for are speed set pieces because that's going to give us extra speed without having to have crazy rolls if we think about it if you think about how you want to gear your champions right we want to make them fast because the faster you go the more attacks you take the more attacks you take the less the more you damage the enemy and when they're dead they can't damage you right so making the enemy slower making your team faster, all of that feeds into success when we're talking about the PvE content in this game. Now, obviously with clan boss, we need to find some speed tuning to make sure that we can optimize that. But even in that, we're still trying to get as many attacks in as we can. This is why two one ratio teams, those fast teams are so powerful. Um, and so when we're talking about this, right, obviously we want to prioritize certain skills but speed is always going to be essential part of that let's think about getting a champion to say 300 speed right this is kind of the optimal go-to speed especially at these early stages right it's a very hard level to get to but it is something that we can do if we talk about getting to like 300 speed on a champion what do we need if we assume they have a base speed of 100 right which is about average in this game obviously there's some champions like Razzlevar here has a really high base speed when he's fully ascended and stuff, um, you know, and like Elva has a really high one at 110, right? And there's definitely going to be some champions that have very low base speeds, right? Mausoleum Mage 197, for example. Um, and I think, the, you know, the lower a champion is, the lower that base speed. World Guard right now has at 93. So how do we get them up? To those really high speeds well if we think about it it doesn't take a lot of gear right let's say we're gonna have we have our five slots right our weapon our helmet our shield our glove our chest piece right all those can roll speed we're gonna get 40 or 45 speed off our boot so let's just go ahead and say we get i don't know let's say 40 we'll use a five star uh, speed boots right that's 40 speed right off the bat and remember we have our base of 100 so already we're at 140 speed. We also have the banner that can give us speed as well. So that's really six pieces that can give us speed. So let's figure out what we need for that. Well, let's just say we get, if we can get 20 speed on each of those pieces, 20 speed, now that might sound like a lot, it's actually not that much. So 20 speed on the weapon, that's 160. On the helmet, 180. On the shield, 200 speed already. Then we got the gloves, 220. The 
uh, chest 240 and then the uh, banner right now we're at 260 speed now, of course like okay so we're not quite at 300 260 and we're still needing that 20 speed but if we factor in using three speed sets that's an extra 12 speed for for every two of those every two pieces of that set so if we use an all speed set on this team right six speed set pieces that's an extra 36 speed so we just went from 260 all of a sudden now to 296 and that's how you get to a champions being 300 speed now of course you're going well okay great but how am i getting 20 speed on each of these pieces well you don't need 20 speed you don't you need 15 speed 16 speed 17 speed and then glyphs to take it up to those higher numbers and i mean we're doing you know faction wars every day so we have those glyphs available to us and that's how we're really going to get to those speeds that we're looking for and so that's that's all i'm looking for and what does it take to get a 15 speed champion or 15 speed piece the double roll that's all it takes that's really everything that it takes um we can look at my elva here look at that 14 speed double roll it's a rare piece fine right i did get a triple speed triple roll here that's great just adds to it double roll 16 speed right triple roll sweet i got lucky there triple roll got lucky there right and then we got our speed boots down here double roll 15 speed so if we can say if i don't have crazy glyphs then i'm obviously looking for some triple roll pieces but you know a lot of times i can get away look at that single roll here right single roll double roll double roll not no rolls on that one right uh the banner single roll and my deacon still at 247 speed so trying to get speed isn't incredibly hard and if i can bring in speed sets that makes it that much easier and that's how you can get some champions to some pretty insane speeds without really needing insane gear and so that's why i love this these dragon when we have a triple speed uh moment here for it now exactly like what am i gearing right well it obviously depends on the roles of the champions right some champions i have that are speed champions like razzlevarg i'm gonna want to get razzlevarg pretty fast he has some really good passive abilities so i don't actually need to build him super fast he'll get there on his own uh but speed is obviously going to be helpful if i'm bringing in somebody like say my elva elva is a great example right this is a carry champion this is someone that's going to keep everybody alive both with the buff she brings the speed buff she brings and also the passive healing i want her taking as many turns as i can right i want the cleanses going out i want the protection going out well if i want her taking as many turns as i can then i'm going to want her speed super super fast on the other hand, uh, sometimes you just need a damage dealer like my Royal Guard. I don't care as much about speed. Obviously, I want him fast enough so he takes a turn. But the big thing is when he takes that turn, I need him to hit hard. So I just need him kind of relatively fast compared to everybody else, right? It doesn't have to be faster than anybody. I just kind of need that balance there, right? Um, and then we got, you know, debuffers, right? My Uko, my Ugo, right? I, obviously, I, like, this is my free to play. I only have so much gear, but you know 187 speed we're rolling at um i'm focused primarily on his on her accuracy right not the speed but the speed is the second thing because the more turns i get the more often those debuffs are going to be on the enemy um and so like having that balance i think is really helpful molly tanker is an interesting one right she's kind of a carry champion right she's, i don't really need her to do a lot of damage i don't really need her to you know place a lot of buffs she does have a provoke but it's not you know Obviously for Hydra, that's gonna be important, but outside of that, I don't know. She has that revive. So like the more, the faster she goes, the more accessible the provoke is, the more accessible the revive is. That's not her primary function. Her primary function is to stay there and get hit. So obviously I'm building her, I'm gonna be aiming to build her more tanky, more sustain heavy and develop from there. So I just, you know, kind of same thing here with Black Knight, right? um and so it's kind of interesting right like as far as like building these champions out what am i looking for how am i looking to build them it's going to depend a lot on the role that they're in you know anybody that i'm hoping to do damage i'm going to want to get maximum crit rate and then once i get maximum crit rate i'm looking to build those damage stats the attack the crit damage um for my debuffers you know champions that i'm looking to place as many debuffs as possible my urogrim my ugo um these champions i uh, you know my deacon armstrong i need accuracy on them and i need that accuracy in order to land those debuffs because without that 
they become pretty useless. And so that becomes a priority thing of mine. And then it's about what's the secondary thing. Now my Deacon I use in Arena as a speed buff booster. So speed is actually the priority and accuracy becomes secondary. For someone like Ugo or Earl Grimm, accuracy becomes a priority. And then the secondary thing is gonna be the speed. Now they might not be built perfect because I am still limited in the gear that I have on this free to play, but that's still the focus. That's still the idea behind what I want to do with these champions and you know they're level 50 i don't even have banners on them yet and then of course you know royal guard like i said you know when we're going damage right whether that's ronda that's royal guard you know you can see two different ways to build it right my royal guard i only have crit rate oh i did get crit damage gloves i take that back so obviously i'm aiming to get crit damage gloves but i do need to make sure i get maximum crit rate otherwise the extra damage is kind of useless so uh, but i have them set up I'm like i'm trying to get set up and get ready for it now uh, even though I still haven't, you know, ranked up a couple champions, even though I haven't leveled everything up, I do want to start gearing them up, start getting them ready for that. Now, I, you know, my plan was, my original plan was to rank up as much food as I could so I can get those champions a six star. But obviously with the 3x speed, I had to take a detour. I had to take a right turn and I spent a bunch of energy in there, which has been great. And we, you know, we've gotten a lot of decent pieces. I haven't been able to, you know, roll them all up. I don't have that much silver, um, but you can see definitely added some pieces to the mix. So I'm excited to get in here and see what we can't do, because obviously, you know, the more speed I can get, that's going to make arena a lot easier. It's going to make a lot of areas of this game a lot easier to grapple with for me. And it's going to make, you know, re-gearing for things like um, like clan boss a lot easier as well, because I'm very close to being a two key on that, but I'm not there yet. And so I need to spend some time. I really need to upgrade some of my gear to be able to get that. And, uh, you know, that's just going to take some time. I do feel like I'm a little bit, you know, I'm a champion or two away from really being able to do anything with it. Um, but you know that is that's what I'm looking to do is once I can get those once I can get those champions to be able to do something with it, I feel like we're going to be in really good shape. But that's got to be my uh, my main priority, right? Getting that up. So I'm still looking to still looking to get there. It's just taking some time, but I'm very very close, and I would really like to be able to two key Ultra Nightmare because that would mean that I would always always have you know Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare down every day. Um, right now it's a little bit, um, nightmares half and half, depending on if I've used my keys diligently enough. Um, so that would be a really big step forward for me in the account. Um, but that's definitely something I want to do, but you know, farming dragon, the accuracy gear is super valuable early on. I don't really need, you know, half these sets I don't need, and this is going to be a nice, uh, silver boost. But you know, another thing is getting stalwart gear. I think that's actually really, really valuable, um, for me in this account because I think that's a great way to kind of, you know, add sustain to these teams in clan boss uh, without having to do a whole lot else, right? And so that can help supplement my champions like uh, like uh, Jareg, who's kind of keeping our team alive. This will be a really nice addition uh, on top of that. So I'm really excited about that. So that's where we're at right now. Um, this is kind of what I'm focused on here is just doing some, I gotta sell a bunch of gear. Uh, but doing a lot of doing a lot of dragon, uh, getting that knocked out of the way. And as soon as that's done, as soon as that's done, then I'm going to start leveling champions. Obviously, when spider comes out, that is another area I need to focus on. I've been really behind on spider. Usually that's where I spend most of my time, not only because I get good silver, but I do need the accessories. Um, and there's a wider breadth of accessories, right? Because they're faction uh, limited, faction lock. So that is something I need to do. But those are kind of the things that I'm focused on right now i need to get that you know getting more gear is always a continual thing and so especially on my free to play you know i need to continue that grind there's no limit to that i just have to kind of keep it going keep it going keep it going and then on top of that you know making sure that i'm keeping the right pieces so for me anything with crit rate and, and you kind of saw that there when i was selling some pieces if it doesn't have crit rate or it doesn't have speed, I'm generally not keeping it. There are some, obviously some exception pieces, right? You know, right now I still need accuracy. I figure six star piece, maybe I hold on to crit damage could be good if I have crit rate gloves. There are some exceptions uh, with this stuff. Um, and obviously like, you know, a solid main stat on a six star piece, that's pretty useful right now. 
Um, but I am starting to like kind of gear myself in that direction of like, this is what I'm trying to keep because I want crit rate on all my champions generally. I want uh, speed on all my champions generally. Um, and so outside of that, you know, I got to kind of balance it. Obviously, you know, if I get accuracy on an accuracy piece, great. Or resistance on an accuracy piece. That's always good, right? Like my Molly is probably going to be my uh, my my mischief uh, tank for Hydra. Well, I'm going to need resistance, but she's also my provoker. So I'm going to need accuracy, too. So it becomes one of those things where I have to build both. So I'm looking for in resistance and accuracy gear. I'm looking for both uh, for both of those attributes there right you can see the pieces i have on her they all have either ac this one has accuracy with speed this one has speed actually and resistance again speed and resistance is a resistance piece with speed uh some accuracy there some resistance here so trying to find that balance is going to be tricky and i don't think this is going to be a final result for me but for right now it's definitely a good spot to start with right once i can get her level up and ascend it then i'm going to be able to have some more specific targeting goals and depending on the accessories i can you know modify the gear that i do have on her to get to a spot that i can use her at but right now even with this i feel like i could probably use her if i needed to i could probably bring her in an arena and have a little bit of usage there um you know we do have the passive ability now and that is what i really wanted to unlock and with that even as a level one still useful for things like arena um so i could bring her in uh in in there and interrupt some people so that'd be fun anyway that's that's the video guys uh i'm not sure uh, hopefully this was helpful for some of you uh you know just at least my thinking on how i like to go about gearing these champions uh, which is you know it's something it's definitely something something that's needed uh excited to see where we get to in doom tower this rotation and i'm excited to get all these champions ranked up leveled up i'm actually starting to think i should rank up Razzle Varg, maybe even before Ugo, that increased accuracy buff, I feel like is going to be really, really valuable at the higher levels of Doom Tower. That is something I'm starting to consider. Um, I'm not sure exactly who's in this rotation. Um, I'm kind of hopeful the Dark Fae is because I feel like Razzle Varg could be really, really helpful for that one. Um, with the passive increased speed boost, I feel like we might actually, you know, might make Dark Fae pretty easy. So I'm excited to try that out. Anyway, that's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm excited about taking down Hydra this week. I feel like we got, I feel like we might, might be able to make some improvements. We'll see where we're at on that. But uh, yeah, that's all we got. So until next we meet on the Deadwood Jedi.